One of the most widely advertised features about the new iPhone OS 2.0 is the Active Sync support. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up pu push email, contacts, and calendar. So, uh, first, you're going to go into description and click on this link. Scroll down in the page and click on sign up for Mail to Web Live. So this is just your standard registration form, so I'm going to pause the video while I fill that in. Okay, so after you've done that, uh, go to the bottom of the page and click continue. Uh, so account setup complete, you have successfully completed the sign up process, blah blah blah. Just click on get started using mail to web live and then click OK. And scroll down on this page and click on login. So we can test that our account is working. This comes up, press send and send um then type your full email address and then your password and then click login And so now, this kind of looks like Microsoft Outlook 2003. Uh, you've got your inbox, calendar, and contacts. So now I'll show you what to do on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Okay, so let me just remind you that you do have to be on the new iPhone OS version 2 firmware. So slide to unlock and then open up the mail application. Right at the top you'll see Microsoft Exchange, so tap on that. So I'll uh, just fill this form in. Uh, so give me a minute. And your form should look something like this. So tap next and it's going to say it's not able to verify. But don't worry about that and I'll show you why now. So you press accept and an extra text box will uh, pop up asking us for the server domain. So what we want to type in is exchange.mailtoweb.com. If you didn't get that, it's in, it's in the description. And now tap next. So yes, it's verified. Now depending what what you want to use. I only want to use mail. Uh, so, you know, you can leave all these on if you want, but I just want mail, so I'm going to switch contacts and calendars off. So, press save and you're done. Now, usually, uh, after setting up an Exchange account, maybe they'll fix this in the next release, but there is a bug. Uh, where it takes forever to check for mail. So what you have to do is either wait it out or you force quit the mail app by pressing and holding the home button. And now just launch it again. And there you go, there's our two messages that we saw earlier in my inbox. Okay, now I'll give a demo of the push email ability.
So that was my video on how to set up Active Sync with the new iPhone OS. I hope you liked it. Please rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.